thank you for this day. Thank you for bringing us here together. I pray, God, that you'll just guide us and lead us from this day forward. God, our past, Lord, protect us, dear God. I pray, Lord, that we'll always seek your face above everything. And just thank you for Casey, man. Putting her in, in my life, everything that she needs to me, dear God. We love you and we thank you and we ask for your blessing on this marriage. That we always keep you in the middle of it and put just on you, dear God, in your name we pray. Amen. sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Christian and Casey in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God. And folk hold fast to his wife and they shall become one flesh. When you become one flesh, all things have to pass away. You no longer look at life as my life, but now as our life.
I announce to you, to you that they are husband and wife. Christian, you may kiss your bride. always been kind, sensitive, but not a sissy, a hard worker and a man of his word. He's a great friend and he is a godly man. See, Christian has been through a lot, setbacks, injuries, surgeries, and each time I wondered why. Recently, our pastor did a series on providence and then I realized why. God has st strategically placed Casey in Christian's life at the right time because she should because he should not be in wise at all. Casey has been what we have prayed for in Christian's wife, a godly woman that loves <coughs> big, is strong, and supports him. She's always been more of a sister to me than anything. Growing up with Casey wasn't easy. For the ones who didn't know Casey when she was younger, consider yourself lucky. It would be an understatement to say it was her world and everyone else was living in it. Casey has always been my person I can call at any time for anything, and she will always be there. No, but I couldn't ask for a better guy to marry Casey. Uh, Christian, I'm thankful Casey found you. You two go hand in hand, and I'm glad you're a part of the family now. I love the both of you, and I wish both of you guys nothing but the best. I love y'all. But I, I think the biggest thing that's always stood out to me about Christian is the ability to overcome adversity, overcome hard times. Things that I don't think anybody in this room would have kept overcame, but you did it. Times that I didn't think I would make it, you were there for me every time. And I think God has a plan. You two are an example of that. All those injuries, all those times you could have gave up, you could have gave up time and time again. You kept pursuing because you knew you're going to reap your harvest. We're all looking at what the harvest is right here.